Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today I have a special video collaboration that I did with Sean Vig from Sean Vig Fitness. Now, many months ago, maybe over a year ago, I did an iron yoga class where it was basically just a yoga class using some weights and you guys really loved it. And since I've put up that class, you've been asking me to make more and I honestly just have not gotten around to it. But thankfully today, the video that Sean has done for you guys is yoga with weight. So I really do think you're going to love it. If you don't already subscribe to Sean's channel, go ahead and check it out. He has some amazing yoga workouts, some really great exercise routines. And while you are here, of course, definitely subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Hope you enjoyed this class. Also note that I've created a 30 minute hip opening yoga class for Sean's channel if you wanted to go and try it out for yourself. Thanks so much guys. Hello my friends, it's Sean Vig with SeanVigFitness.com. Thank you to Cassandra and all of you for letting me stop by Cassandra's YouTube channel today. This is a power yoga with weights workout. I have it written out right here. Grab a couple dumbbells for this routine. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles. Make sure whatever it is, they weigh the same. The weight is up to you. Or if you don't have anything like that, you can also just mimic the movements that we do. This is great for men, women, everyone. Modify as needed and always use control. And do us a favor, if you like the video, make sure you give it a big like down below and share it on. All right, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel in the About section below. Let's start with a warm up. Power yoga, flow yoga, sequencing, think of it as learning a language where we keep putting together different poses, different poses, different poses. And then the dumbbells come in to add more core balance, add more core stability, and definitely a little more challenging with the added weight. So let's sit cross-legged or you can sit on your heels, shoulders are back and down for the warm up, breathing in the nose and out the nose. There's my dog wandering over there. Let's breathe in, shoulder rolls, inhale up, exhale back. Let's do it five more times. You want to create space in the chest, let the posture improve. So shoulders back and down. Good. Two more breaths. Breathe into your deep abdominals, meaning below your rib cage where your diaphragm is, which pumps the breath in and out. All right. Inhale. Let's bring the arms up overhead. Very dramatic. Fingertips together. Exhale. Pull the arms back and down. Three more times. Inhale, fingertips together, reach up, back bend. Exhale, open, get some, you want circulation. You want blood to circulate, moving into the shoulders, the back, and the arms. Let's do it one more time. I apologize in advance for my counting. Sometimes I'm a little bit off, but that's okay. Make sure you get your proper number of repetitions in. Okay. Bring it down. Now, inhale, lift the left shoulder up and back. Back and forth, add a little twist. Good. This can be done, this routine, on its own or part of your current training routine. Let's do it four more times. Two more each side. Do it in the evening, do it in the morning. That's up to you. Okay, once more. Inhale, bring the arms up. Let the palms come together. Exhale, squeeze every drop of breath from the lungs. Empty the lungs. We want very efficient, profound breathing. Inhale, palms together, reach up, back bend. Fill and empty the lungs. Exhale, hands coming down right in front of the chest. Expand the chest, shoulders are back and down. One more time. Mm, that sun feels good, it definitely helps us warm up. Blood flow is so, so important the body to the brain everywhere. Okay, now grab your dumbbells. A few little warm-up exercises here. You could stay in this position or stand. Take the arms to the sides. Hammer curls. We're going to do some of these different movements in the workout. So exhale, palms facing in. Bring the weights up. Inhale, drop down. Let's do it eight more times. Stabilize the core. Stabilize from your center. Two. Three. Full body workout. Four. Do it four more times. Elbows to the sides, squeezing in against the ribs. There's a big red ant running across the asphalt. One more time. Bring it up. Okay. One more thing while we're here. They're just going to start flowing. Lateral raises, working the shoulder muscles. Shoulders are back. Grab the dumbbells eight times. Inhale, reach up. Little bend in the elbows. Exhale, come down almost to the body. 
and you'll see how we so can so beautifully add these dumbbell movements, and there'll be more, to a lot of our favorite yoga poses. Eight times, eight times. Good, we do slow and controlled, always controlled. Always slow it down a little bit, dig deeper into the muscles. I may be doing an extra one here. Let's finish off the last one eight times. And down. All right, bring it to downward facing dog. Quick shirt tuck. Spread the fingers wide. Pop up, downward facing dog. Arms shoulder width, legs hip width. In the nose and out the nose. Take a few moments here. Let the heels sink down towards the mat. Let the shoulders release. Let the shoulders pull away from each other behind you. You can do a little walk. But great. Limber up the spine. Limber up the backs of the legs. This routine keeps moving. There's never a dull moment. Every second is spent doing something that benefits us greatly. Physically, mentally, even perhaps spiritually. Okay. Vinyasa power flows. Inhale forward to plank position. Hands under the shoulders. Camera's on good. <laughs> Elbows in. Press back through the heels. Press forward through the toes. Shoulders come in front of the wrists and we lower down. Knees can drop to modify. Elbows hugging the sides. All the way down. Chaturanga. Hover. Four limb step. Inhale. Cobra. Shoulders are back. Lifting through the chest. It's through the nose. Or press all the way up into upward facing dog. You want the shoulders back and down. Open the chest. Squeeze the glutes and the tops of the thighs. Strengthening. Opening up the upper body. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. That's a vinyasa power flow. Let's do it again. Inhale forward, smooth out the transitions. Keep pressing forward. Hover. All the way down, cobra. Or upward facing dog. Very nice. Good. Take it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, left foot forward, lunge. Line up the ankle and the knee. Press the right heel back. Fingers down or reach up. Moving from one pose to the next, varying the durations. Exhale, hinge forward. Set the hands down, step back, down dog. <sighs> Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward, lunge on the other side. Balance them out. Use the breath. Oh, balance, use the breath. Very nice. Shoulders down, fingers up. Exhale, hinge, step or jump back to plank and then to hover. You can do a little jump if you like or plank to hover. Inhale, up dog or cobra lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, walk or jump the feet forward. Inhale, lift up chair pose. The weight goes into the glutes. The knees are happy. Into the glutes and the heels. And don't worry, these will be added on just, just momentarily. One more breath. Reach the arms up. Exhale, dive into forward fold. Soften the knees slightly. Take an extra breath. Eat your shirt. Um, there we go. <laughs> Inhale, flat back. Fingers on the shins or the mat. Draw the shoulders back. Feel the stretch and the length in the spine. From here, step or jump back to plank. Press forward. Hover. Slowly. Practice all the time. Stronger every day, my friends. Little twist, if you like. And then back to downward facing dog. Okay. The dumbbells are on deck. Inhale. There's a spider. Exhale. Left foot forward. Grab the dumbbells. Lunge with curls. So get your lunge. We're going to challenge your center, your core. Stabilizing. Palms forward ten times. Exhale. Inhale down. Two. Three, press that right heel back. Four, five. Remember, pick a weight that's appropriate that you can do a full range of motion with that really burns when you get towards the end of the repetition. Boom. All right, set it down, step back down, dog. <sighs> Inhale, right foot forward, lunge. Hammer curls, palms facing in. Shoulders back. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Pulse. Let's do ten. Two. Three. Let's stick with ten on these. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Left heel back. Eight. Nine. Ten. Set them down. Hover. 
So jump back or walk back, plank to hover, inhale, up dog. Your vinyasa flow. You can pause it, watch the video, practice. Back to down dog. All right, inhale, left leg up, exhale, left foot forward. Lunge with lateral raises. We did these in the warm up. So again, get your lunge, shoulders back. 10 times, inhale up, exhale down. I won't talk as much. I'm at 8,000 feet right now. <laughs> By the end of this, we'll be so tall, we'll be at 9,000 feet. Two more. Good, really work those shoulders, set them down. Step back, down dog. Good, connect those flows, smooth. Inhale, right foot. You better believe it, my friends. Oh, lateral raise, other side, work the balance. 10 times. Four. Ooh, feeling that burn. Six. Very nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Step or jump back. Plank. We can step back. We can press forward. Hover. Slowly bring it down. Inhale. Cobra or up dog. Add a little twist if you like. Cross a leg behind the other. Very nice. And keep the upper body strong. All right, lift, downward facing dog. Take five breaths right here. Whew, feel the difference. Each time we come back to down dog, after doing these flows, after adding the dumbbells, your body sinks into it. It craves it. So give it what it wants. Two more breaths. Okay, walk or jump forward. Bum, bum, bum. There's our chair, press back into the glutes, inhale, lift. Four breaths. I bet this chair would like to add the dumbbells in a moment, just you wait. <laughs> one more breath, one more breath. All right, reach back, lace the fingers, yoga mudra. Soften the knees a little bit. Whew, top of the head, sinking down, two more breaths. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale, dive. The total body conditioning. Improve your performance in every sport and every activity. All right, drop the hands, flat back, fingers on the shins or the mat, shoulders are back, extra breath. And the next exhale, jump or walk back to plank. Boom. Press forward, hover, lower down. Your hover gets stronger every time, my friend. Practice it. Every day, discipline, lift, cobra or up dog, that vinyasa flow. Take it back, <clears throat> downward facing dog. Again, walk or jump the feet forward, boom. Grab your dumbbells, chair, press back. Now these are called tricep kickbacks, working your triceps. Elbows into the sides, I love doing these at the gym, 10 times. Exhale back, inhale forward. Oh, it burns already. Right in those beautiful triceps. Two thirds of your arm, five more times. Keep the integrity of the chair. All right, set them down. Mudra, reach back a little further. Two more breaths. Hope this gives you some great ideas. Make sure you comment below what you thought of the workout, if there was any particular movements that you really liked, that really stood out, that you want to use in your workouts now. All right, once again, kickbacks, chair. Press back, more advanced, come up onto your tippy toes. Oh, let's see how this works. <laughs> I may have spoke too soon. Well, you might be on the tippy toes. There we are, four, five, so much balance, so much core stability and strengthening. Hello, Mr. Ant, two more times. Oh, little sloppy, but we'll practice it. Once more, mudra, dive down, three more breaths. Oh, that feels good. Stronger every day. Stronger every darn day. All right, drop the arms down. Whew, inhale, flat back. Step or jump back. Plank into the ooh, pine cone, pine needle. Hover, bring it down slowly, slowly, slowly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Take an extra breath. Lift through the chest. 
I'll let that breath flow. Let your breath flow. Take a downward facing dog. Five breaths. Let the breeze flow. Let every breath travel from the top of your head to the tips of the toes. Two more breaths. Squeeze out the junk, squeeze out the tension along your spine. Decompress the spine. Okay. We're gonna walk or jump forward again for tree pose. Okay, now rise up. I'll step back here, make sure you can see me. Tree, I'll mirror you. Take your left foot, or left hip rather, open it up. Heel below or above your knee, or take the ankle on top of the thigh. Now grab a dumbbell while you're doing this. There we are. Just hold it up right here in front of you. Not bad, not bad. Now reach it overhead. A little more balance. Three more breaths. That's a little more to a little more focus. It's an external force pushing against your center. So your body must get stronger or tip over. Okay, stay here or take that ankle to the top of the thigh. This is a crouching tree and press back. Three breaths. A little more weight in the glutes. Open the hip. Ooh, jiggling. Okay. One more breath. All right. Now step it right into chair. Boom. Twisting chair. Pull to the right. Inhale center. Pull left. Ten times total. Here's three. Twisting while in that squat. Five more. Six. Seven. Acht. Eight. And nine, and one more, ten. Now, drop it, bring it down, a little forward fold for a moment, extra breath. Whew, now rise up, let's do the tree on the other side. So step back, grab that dumbbell, and that's my yard behind us, by the way. You might recognize it from some of my other videos. <laughs> Chop wood right down there, okay. All right, my friends, keep it here or extended tree. Oh, got a little wobbling. Ooh, it's a pebble in my toe. There we are. Three more breaths. Relax your gaze. Let your eyes fix on something that's stable, something that's stationary. All right, stay here. Or we have the crouch. Ooh, we don't want the foot touchdown. There we go. Good. This challenges me. I mean, I practice yoga a lot. You add a weight to it, a couple dumbbells, whole new experience. Two more breaths. All right, into that twisting chair. Bring it back. If you're really feeling inclined, tippy toes. What have we gotten ourselves into? Ten twists. One. Two. Keep pressing back. Good. Three. Four, five, five more. Whew. Got my squishy mat too. Makes it even more challenging. Seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. Let's reward ourselves, my friends, with the mudra. Take the feet wider this time out. Onto the floor, onto the asphalt, and dive down. A little back and forth. Five breaths. Get some blood. Blood flow to the brain. One more breath. Okay. Drop the arms. Bring the feet hip width apart. Pine needle off the mat. Inhale. Flat back. Power vinyasa flow. Walk or jump back. Down. Up dog or cobra. A little twist. Whew. Let's have some fun. As if we haven't been having enough fun already. Take it to down dog. Coming to what we call plank. Rows. So come forward to plank. Get your dumbbells. Ten rows. <sighs> Hands under the shoulders. Palms facing in. Let's stabilize. Now exhale. Pull. Inhale down. One. 
create that neat little design on the mat. Four, five, stabilize. Center six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Walker jump forward. Inhale, roll up with the dumbbells. Slowly stack. Whew. Shoulders back. Take your right foot. Bring it back to lunge. Cactus arms. Take the arms up. Open the chest. Just hold it here. Open that chest. Drop the shoulders back and down. Press your right heel back. Three more breaths. <laughs> All right, vinyasa flow. Step or jump back. Down. Inhale, lift. Up dog, little twist, downward facing dog. I hear the plank rows calling us once again. Forward, boom, here we are. 10 times, even better than last time. Here we go. Legs together for more of a challenge, two. Our feet together, rather. three, four, five, six. You're doing great, you're doing fantastic, seven. Share this with your workout buddies. Always change up that training. All right, walker jump forward. Rise up. Slowly. Stack every 33 vertebrae of the spine. Shoulders back and down. Left foot back. Lunge. Cactus arms. The mat is stretching. There we go. Five breaths. Open. Strengthen the legs. Strength in the upper body, balance, and breath. Two more breaths. All right, get rid of those dumbbells. Step or jump back. Vinyasa flow. Woohoo. Okay. Get acquainted with the mat. <laughs> Up dog or cobra. Lift through the chest. Downward facing dog. Five breaths, my friends. Walk the legs. Add a twist if you like. Whew. Good. Squeeze out the sides like a wet washcloth. Okay. Okay. Squeeze out the tension in the back. Think of your paraspinal muscles along your spine, your rector spinae back here. All these muscles that make up the back, the rhomboids upper back, ah, the traps, ah, okay, lats, that's what I was thinking, okay, let's uh, finish up one flow here, one more flow on our feet, we're going to take the left leg, bring it up, exhale left foot forward, pivot the right foot out, we come into a warrior, you can either take your forearm onto this left leg, it's called the extended triangle. Side angle with this arm up, or bring the fingers down. A little proud warrior. Now, don't use the dumbbells yet. Hold it right here. You can also take the arm to your lower back and roll this right shoulder back. Stretch that right leg. Bugs. Okay. Are you filming outside today? <laughs> I film outside about 99% of the time. Love it. All right, take this right arm reach. This is the extended warrior. If you want even more, both the arms up, lace the fingers, five breaths. Huge for your core. Breathe. Good, all that strength. So much endurance and strength. All right, set the hands down. Step back, down dog. Whew. Very profound, very profound. All right, inhale, right foot forward. Lunge, pick. Your poison, enjoy the back side here. Forearm or arm. Get adjusted. Breathe into the pose, in the nose, out the nose. Or arm to the back. Mm. Drink the breath. Savor it. Now, extended. Warrior or extreme. Five breaths. 
Ooh. Good. Power and endurance. One more breath. Oh, yes. All right. Vinyasa flow. Step or jump back. Smooth. Inhale. Up dog or cobra. Shake it out. Shake it out. Lift. Downward facing dog. All right. Inhale. Left foot forward. Warrior. Option. Grab a weight. Bring it up. <sighs> nice stabilization here. We got the arm up, extending through the shoulder, through the fingers. <sighs> if you like, this is a tough one, extend that way. This might be a little much. Five breaths. <sighs> Woo! Pull that stomach in. Flex it on the exhales. Squeeze the thighs. <sighs> This is so wonderful. Thanks for training with me, my friends. All right, bring it back up. Ooh, you want a little fun? Let's wrap it. Left arm underneath, right arm around, or stay in the warrior. Warrior wrap. Five breaths. Roll the right shoulder back. Luckily, I had my green tea before this. Give me a little boost. All right, release. Step back, down dog. Whew. Give a quick shake out there. Oh, blood flowing, feeling alive. I'm Laban. All right, right foot forward. Find your warrior. And if you wish, grab the dumbbell. Boom. We'll see how this works. Breathe out of that left hand. Breathe into it. And if you wish, Woo, extend five breaths. One more breath. Oh man. Woo, all right. Bring it up. If you like, add the wrap or stay with the extended warrior or the proud warrior. Three more breaths. Oh, this opens everything up. Let's vinyasa flow. Your speed, your speed. Okay. Take it back, down dog. A little fun here, come forward to plank. I call this the dumbbell swap. Move one out of the way. 10 times, grab it, drop it on the other side. Don't drop it on your hand. Two, you can slide it across too, but I don't have that luxury. <laughs> Five, six, like playing chess. Seven, eight, nine, 10, press forward, hover, up dog or cobra. Squeeze the tops of the thighs, squeeze the glutes. Down dog. Take an extra breath. Let's do that swap once more. Whew. Okay, forward. Plank. Ten times. Adding spice to your workouts. Always changing them up. It's also fun. Five more times. Good job for the pinky. And Okay, hover. Oh, that feels good. Really feel your body kicking back. Up dog or cobra. Extra breath. Okay. Down dog. Now I love adding a little bird of paradise on at the end of a lot of my power yoga flows. So it's an option. Here's how it goes. Left foot forward. Stay with the warrior. If you got the wrap, you might want to go into the bird of paradise. Take an extra breath here. I'm going to hop off the mat for this. Bring your right foot forward. Lift your left foot off the mat. Coraggio. And if you're able, extend five breaths. Shoulders back. Strong. Have not done this in a couple fortnights. Feels good. Oh, 
always come back. Lessons learned working our way up to this. One more breath. <laughs> All right, beautiful, my friend. Practice, bring it back. We have our proud warrior. Bring the hands down, down dog. Let's go to the other side, right foot. Pick your option. There we go. Oops, sliding. And if you want, bird of paradise. Left foot up. I'll just look out in the yard where the elk are. Four more breaths. Breathe. Breathe. One more breath. We got it. We got it. All right, back. <laughs> There's our warrior. One more flow. Step or jump back. Up dog. Oh. Down dog. Oh. Walk the legs. Ten steps. One. Twist it out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five more twists. Six. Seven. All right. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now jump or just move gently into a seated position. Okay. Shake it out. One last sequence here. A little core work with flexibility training thrown in to boots. So bring your dumbbells up. I'm going to grab a quick drink here. Can't beat water. Can't beat it. Right, get that off the mat. Now shoulders back and down. Feet coming in. Get those dumbbells handy. If it's too much at first, leave the dumbbells out of it. As I keep saying, work your way up to it. You got it. Half boat pose. Bring the feet up. Now this is a military press. Working the shoulders. So take the arms up. We're going to inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Bring it down. Still opening that chest. If you want, you can also extend the legs. Are you ready? All right, let's go. 10 repetitions. Three. Don't know why I'm smiling. Four. Five. Five more times. Never look at boat the same way again. If you own a boat, you'll never look at it the same way again. You'll think, how can I add on to it? All right. One more breath. Bring it up and down. Now, open the legs wide. Let me scooch back just a little bit. Straddle, stretch, grab a dumbbell, and just roll it forward. I hope you can see me when I scooch back. Roll it forward with each exhale, a little further. But stay lifted, don't just drop. Stay nice and tall, remember shoulders are back. Draw the toes towards you. Do three more breaths. Nice little tool to assist you in your stretching for a little more range of motion. These dumbbells. All right, bring it back up. Let's do our chair military press just one more time. One more time. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comment section below. Maybe we'll do some more because the options are just about unlimited. There's so many more things we can do. All right, 10 repetitions. Half bolt first, arms up, here we go. All come back to your, your center, your belly button. All right, that's five, let's do five more. Oh, I got, let me do a little better here. Smoother, we're coming to the end of the workout. So definitely, might get a little fuzzy. When we breathe a little bit more, we focus a little bit more, okay. Once again, straddle and walk your dumbbell forward. Take your dumbbell for a walk. Spot you again. Three more breaths. Okay. Uh, I want to do so much more, but time always shows up. So either cross like a position or sit on the heels again. Let's finish off. Beautiful class. Let's switch the cap here. Whew. Feel great, my friends. Bring the hands together right in front of you. Shoulders back and down. As you inhale, 
Get that shirt out there. <laughs> Reach the arms up. I want you to bend the elbows. Drop your thumbs towards your, your back, your upper back. Feel that stretch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Let's do that three more times. Good. Expanding, expanding, lift. I see I wrote down two more times. I wrote down some extra stuff in there. We'll get to it next time. And down. Let's take it one more time. One more time. So excited. I love this. I hope you love this workout, my friends. Thank you very much, Cassandra, for letting me guest on your channel. She did a uh, yin yoga stretch on my channel. Ha, namaste. God bless. And uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel in the About section below. And go to SeanVeekFitness.com or Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, wherever books are sold, pick up a copy of my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes by me, Sean V. A pleasure for being here, my friends. Uh, like the video, subscribe to uh, Cassandra's channel, and I will see you next time, my friends. Great work. Thank you for having me. God bless.